So in this video right now, I'm going to go ahead and open this 95 overall player pack heroes or rivals player pack in FC Mobile. But I'm going to also talk about what you need to do and avoid right now in the exchange section as well as uh, in the event section as well. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're excited for it. So first of all, if you go into the exchange section, there are some exchanges that you should definitely avoid. There are like higher overall exchanges uh, that you should not do just because you're just going to lose your coins. If you go ahead and open this 87 to 97 overall player pack, you might think this is a good one because you're getting it. 387 plus overall players but it's just waste of uh, waste of your resources i think we're gonna get brand new events in fc mobile which means you're gonna get brand new exchanges and i think you should go ahead and save most of your players most of your higher overall cards or lower overall cards in your squad right now for example for 87 to 97 overall player pack you need 185 plus overall team of the year card as well as you need 286 overall cards you need 481 plus overall cards you also need 70 plus overall cards which is not that big of a deal but still you're, you need some decent amount of resources and for this one you need some decent amount of resources as well and for exchange you're only getting untradeable cards if you get like very very high overall untradeable cards from those packs then i guess you can use them in your teams but if you get like 92 93 overall even it's just not worth it for you because they are untradeable and those untradeable cards you cannot even use those untradeable cards cards in for example this 95 overall exchange because it says right there you only have you you can only use um a tradable 93 to 94 overall so I think doing those exchanges are definitely not worth it. You you can get lucky and get, as I said, 96, 97 overall, but it's just way, very unlikely. I haven't got any 96 or 97 or even 95 overall from any of those 87 plus or 89 plus overall exchanges. And I've opened pretty much all of them every single day for like the last month from team of the year. I have opened uh, every single one of them pretty much and I haven't got any luck from them. So as I said, I don't think it's worth it to open any of those untradeable packs. You can definitely open uh, 83 to 97 overall player packs that we're going to get at the weekend because they are tradable packs. I think tradable pack packs are definitely not bad because you can get reward. But from those untradable ones, there is no way you're going to get profit because they there you are only getting untradable cards and you can't even use those untradable cards in this 95 overall exchange or 96 to 97 overall exchange or 93 to 94 overall exchange or anything like that. And we do have coin exchanges as well. But once again, in these coin exchanges, you can only use tradable cards which is quite quite bad as well from EA. They should definitely bring out some of these uh, coin exchanges for untradeable cards as well, for, the, for people who want to get untradeable cards. Right now, you can definitely get some coins from untradeable cards as well, but it's a lot, le it's a lot, it's a lot less um, than uh, what you would get with tradable cards, right? You can go and buy the, uh, the tradable version from the market and you can make like a couple of million coins from like 93, 94 overall cards, but it's just, it just not great, is it? So I think you should not do any of these exchanges, any of the untradable exchanges right now, because we're gonna get brand new exchanges with brand new events and you should save your players or resources or whatever in your squads. And if you don't have any players, just don't buy them from the market because if you open these packs, you're getting only untradable cards. Now, I did say all of that, but I'm still gonna open this 89 to 97 overall player packs right now, because I want to just show you uh, or we, I want to just see if you can get any profit from these, any anything from those packs. Because as I said, I've opened a lot of those 87 to 97s and the 89 to 97s and I haven't got pretty much anything. I pretty much have not got any good rewards from them. So let me go on and open them. Uh, 89 to 97s. I'm not going to open 87 to 97s because I don't have 86s. I do have some 87s. So I'm going to open this and see if it's worth it or not. I'm even using an 89 overall team of the yard card there instead of 85 plus. Because as I said, I don't have any coins, so I'm, I can't buy any of the players right now. Let's go ahead and open this pack and let's see what we're gonna get. We've got a team of the year card. This might be good. Italian, um, lot pack. This is yeah. We just got a 90 overall. This is what I mean with these packs right there. I've got a 90 overall card and a 91 overall card. That's not even that bad of a pack, but still, I can't really use them in anything. You can use them in exchanges uh, in the future, but you can't use them in like 93 to 94 overall exchanges and that type of exchange because you can only use tradable cards. So yeah, I'm not sure if these are worth it or not. I'm not sure if these exchanges are, not, are worth it or not. For me, they are definitely not worth it. But we're gonna open the second one as well, I guess. Uh, we're gonna spend some more 87 overalls. I don't have that many more 87 overalls. Um, so, so let's go ahead and open this last 89 to 97 overall player pack and then we're gonna open 95 overall player pack as well, as I said. You got an icon or a hero from this one. This is McManaman again. 
this is McManaman again. We go back to back McManaman's 91 overall and then 89 overall Lo Celso. And this is why these packs are not worth it. I've just paint all of those players that, that I could sell for coins in the market to get 91 overall and 89 overall that I cannot sell in the market. And they are just stuck in my squad right now. I can use them in the future in some of the exchanges maybe uh, that we can get around tradable cards. But right now you can't really use them in any of the packs uh, or any of these uh, exchanges right now. That's why I think they are definitely not worth it. You should obviously do this exchange though. 8297 overall. This is the free pack right there where you can get some decent players. Um, and these packs as well. I don't think that these packs are that bad as well. Uh, to get three 80, uh, 80 plus overall cards for 675 pluses and 1170 pluses you can definitely make some profit from these packs because they are tradable but other than that some basic stuff just don't spend any of your gems as well right now because even though there are some decent gem offers like these ones they are untradable once again you're getting untradable cards for this if you want untradable 94 to 96 overall card one of these you can open this but i think just saving your gems is the best idea for the events for the future events that we're gonna get i did talk about that uh in in more detail in my last video before this one but yeah let's go ahead and open that 94 overall player pack now and let's see what we're gonna get i'm hoping i'm gonna get ronaldo of course because he's worth the most out of all these cards and i want coins i want uh, not only i want coins but i need coins right now i need a lot of coins in fc mobile because uh, i don't have any pretty much so yeah if i get ronaldo i'm gonna make profit from this pack if i get salah will i make profit um this this exchange by the way is definitely not bad because for most of these cards you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get even uh you're not gonna lose coins from most of these cards at least uh from 95 overall di natale or cap de villa you are gonna lose coins from puskas you are gonna lose coins as well actually from ronaldo you're obviously gonna gain coins from thierry Henry, you're gonna make some coins and from Luka Modric, you're probably gonna, yeah, you're gonna lose some coins. But I think in the future, those 94 overall cards are gonna go up in price as well. And you're not gonna be losing that much coins from them as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and try to get that Ronaldo card, 94 overall Ronaldo card. And hopefully it's gonna be, okay, we've got a hero card. That's already bad. We've got Di Natale. Yep, I've got 95 overall Di Natale. No, no pack luck for me at all. No pack luck for me at all. He's worth about 20 million coins, but I think in the future he's going to go up. He's already going up in price, I think. And I think he's going to go up. So I did lose some coins right now, but I think in the future he is going to go up in price. And I'm going to make uh, make some coins back from that. Actually, let me go ahead and see how good his stats are. Can I use him in my squad? His stats are definitely not bad, you know. That Di Natale stats are not bad, I think. I can use him in my squad, but one person is good for me right now. Details, he's got four-star recruit as well. Um, yeah, not bad. He's got, he's got a good card. He doesn't have a bad card at all. Four-star skill moves as well. 98 pace, 99 shooting. He's got 88 passing and 97 dribbling as well. He's definitely got a good card. I'm definitely going to try him out in my squad. Uh, so yeah, that's that's it.